Welcome to the second episode of our Racing A Ready To Run series. I think it is important for me to give a bit of my background first. I used to be an active racer in the on-road and off-road RC scene, but I dropped out of the hobby two years ago due to various reasons. I've been looking to get back into competitive RC racing, but I know that I will not be competing as regularly or to win. I just want to enjoy the thrill of racing. As such, I cannot justify investing in top-of-the-line gear and equipment. This is why I ended up with the MP9 Ready Set or the Ready to Run from Kyosho. What you are seeing here is basically my second ever lap with the car after having broken in the engine. It was also my first time on the track in two years. I do want to point out that while the car is stuck, I have changed a few things to make it run better. I rebuilt the shocks and the differentials with the specifications or oil weight as with my older setups. I've also extended the fuel line to ensure that my car doesn't flame out or run out of fuel when it is upside down. I wanted to keep the car completely stock, but then this happened, forcing me to revert to an older set of race tires that I had on hand. On the plus side, I can say that I did not feel too much of a difference between the ready set tires and the race tires. This gave me confidence that I can use the stock tires for the next race once I reclude them. The car ran well and the engine was plenty fast to keep up with the competition, but I also realized that it was lacking in torque. Even at optimum tune, it struggled to clear the 5 jumps that you see here. I usually go triple-double, but with the current setup, I had to do 3 singles and then a double. The car could clear the triples when I was lucky, but the 60% success rate meant that I had to go for the safer route during the race. The same goes for the huge jump beside the straight. I could clear it, but not consistently enough to try it during the race. On to the race itself. I goofed up with the recording as my camera was mounted on my head at a bad angle. The whole race footage couldn't be used except for the start finish straight and the pits. Just for your information, the race lasted about 25 minutes, but I also did 10 minutes of warm up before, so the car basically ran for 35 minutes straight. I did not do a full set of qualifying runs, so I had to start the C main in last position but the engine had enough oomph in it to propel me to 5th after the starting straight. I would improve to 3rd by the middle of the first lap, but mistakes saw me drop down the order once again. By the end of the race, I had done just enough to stay in 4th, which saw me bump up to into the B main. I couldn't race the B main as I had work to do, but the timing sheets showed that my times were competitive in the lower Bs. Not bad for my first day back at the track. I should also point out that we had invited the top racers from Borneo for this race, so competition in the upper mains was pretty stiff. One successful day at the track doesn't mean much though, as I believe all modern cars can easily survive one race day. What I am trying to find out is how many races will the diffs, the engine and the chases hold up for. On to the post-mortem. The servos are decent. Here we see how much slower they are compared to the higher end servos but I never felt that they were lacking during the race. Engine-wise, I mentioned good speed and acceleration, but a lack of torque. As an experiment, I put on a Novarossi pipe that I had and tried it out. The difference was night and day. The pipe really brought the engine to life. Plenty of torque and speed, but it also ran hotter. But even after returning the fuel mixture, it still had more speed and power than compared with the stock pipe. I will continue to run this car with the stock pipe, and will in turn turn to differential settings such as going up in the weight of the diff oils to see if it can help provide more power to the car. The stock Perfex radio that came with the car performed with no glitches. It can be considered bare bones in terms of features, but it had everything you need to make it race ready. That is it for my first race with the Ready Set. All in all, I would consider it to be a very good experience, as if not for the Ready Set, I would never get back into racing. The true test will however come 
with the end of the year race in December. This time, I have set my sights on a spot in the A main. <laughs>